Now shooting 4K ProRes on your iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're going to need this. This little guy right here is the Oracle K20 Mini SSD, a one terabyte external storage solution that snaps on your iPhone using MagSafe. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. Now, Apple finally lets us record directly to an external storage. But what's the best SSD for creators on the move? I've tested bulky drives, you know, long cables as well. Even power banks with SSDs attached. Nothing was this seamless. Now, the Oracle K20 must just be the perfect SSD for mobile creators. First, let's talk design. The Oracle K20 Mini is insanely compact at just 68 by 40 by 10 mils. Smaller than a matchbox. It weighs only 33 grams, so you don't even notice it at all. And the aluminum shell has a smooth matte finish, available in space gray or midnight black, matching the iPhone aesthetic perfectly. And yes, the best part about this is, is that it got the built-in MagSafe magnets. So it attaches securely to your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. No clamps, no awkward Velcros as well. Just click and go. And with the addition of the Qi 2, you can use this on your Android as well. Especially ones with Qi 2 magnets on the back. Now under the hood, the K20 uses a high-speed NVMe SSD with USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds, up to 1000 megabytes per second read and write. Now this is fast enough for recording 4K 60 ProRes HDR video. You can use this for offloading gigabytes of files in seconds, editing directly off the drive in apps like LumaFusion or CapCut. Right now, I'm using DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, and I'm able to use the Oracle as my main drive to edit from. Now, since iOS 17, iPhones can now record ProRes video directly to an external SSD. No more internal storage warnings made shoot. Just plug and go. Now, when I connected the K20, the iPhone instantly recognized it. No extra setup. You know, you, you don't need to install any apps at all. In the camera app, I just hit record and all my ProRes footage are saved straight to the K20. Now Oracle includes a short USB-C to C cable. Now this cable doesn't dangle or get in the way when filming handheld. And because it's super short, the cable stays close to the body. Perfect for gimbal shots too. Now I use the K20 on a weekend shoot and here's what I loved about it. It has no overheating, fast file access on MacBook and iPad. It saved me a lot of battery versus airdropping giant files, and it didn't wobble off once thanks to the MagSafe grip. Now, it's not perfect. Here's what you need to watch out for. There's no pass-through charging, so your iPhone battery could run low on long shoots. It heats up a bit with extended 4K60 recording. You know, nothing alarming, but worth noting as well, so that you guys know. And you'll need to enable ProRes manually in settings if you haven't already. So, if you're a mobile creator shooting ProRes, a travel vlogger maybe, or who edits on iPhone or maybe your iPad, or you just want to add a one terabyte of portable storage to your iPhone setup, mainly for photos and videos, the Oracle K20 Mini SSD is one of the best MagSafe compatible drives that you can buy out there. It's compact, fast, and clean. Now this tiny drive changed the way I film with my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Whether it's ProRes, large app files, or editing on the go, it just works. And with the MagSafe convenience, this feels like it should have came in the box. Oracle nailed it with the K20 Mini. Now, thanks for watching everyone. Everything will be linked down in the description below. All of them is an affiliate link, so go ahead and check that out 
it does help on the channel a lot if you get it from there uh, thanks for supporting the channel as well hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ask me anything in the comments if you have any questions at all thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace